in this video we'll try to understand the difference between meter in and meter out hydraulic circuit so let us start with the first difference so as you can see the first difference is in case of meter in circuit the flow control valve is placed in pressure line or pump port line whereas in case of meter out circuit the flow control valve is placed in return line or reservoir line so what is the difference between these two that we'll see so this is the reservoir strainer pump then electric motor pressure relief valve direction control valve then flow control valve with the integral check valve this is the feed direction or direction of motion of the piston and piston rod and this is the double acting cylinder now this is the meter in hydraulic circuit that we have shown over here so in this particular case from the reservoir the liquid will enter into the strainer then this is the pump and this is the motor pressure relief valve then through the direction control valve this will enter in this particular flow control valve so as you can see our first difference is that the flow control valve is placed in the pressure line so this is the pressure line because this port is open correct or it is connected to this pump and therefore this is known as the pressure line or pump port line now this is having the integral check valve so the position of this check valve is such that it will not go the fluid will not go from this side so it has to go through this restricted opening of the flow control valve and will be admitted on this side of the piston and will cause the forward motion so the liquid or the fluid which is entering inside the cylinder is controlled and therefore it is known as meter out meter in circuit whereas in case of meter out circuit exactly opposite thing will be there so flow control valve so this is the flow control valve with the integrated check integral check valve it is placed in the return line or reservoir line so you can see this particular is connected to the reservoir so therefore this line is known as the return line or it is the reservoir line and the arrangement of the flow control valve with the integral check valve is just that it cannot the fluid cannot go through this check valve it has to go through this restricted opening and therefore the liquid which is flowing towards the reservoir is controlled and the motion is controlled in the forward direction now our second difference is that the flow rate of oil is controlled at the inlet so that we have already seen inlet of the actuator or double acting cylinder here in case of the meter out circuit the flow rate of the oil is controlled at outlet of the actuator or cylinder now this is used for the meter in circuit is used for opposing load only so what is the meaning of opposing load is that as the piston rod it is moving in the forward direction suppose to that particular piston piston rod we have connected the tool then the force which is acting the cutting force will be against the motion of the table or cross slide of the machine whereas this type of the load that is this type of the circuit meter out circuit it is used for opposing load as well as running away load so opposing load means what just now we have seen that the forward motion of the piston rod or the cutting tool will be against the motion of the workpiece whereas in case of the running away load the running away load means what the load is also in the same direction as that of the feed direction or forward motion so it may cause the stress to be developed in case of the piston or piston rod the fourth difference is that the pressure drop in flow control valve will cause the reduction in the force developed so as the fluid that is entering inside the double acting cylinder is controlled there is a reduction in the force that is required whereas here there will not be any effect on the force that is developed because the fluid that is going out from the cylinder is controlled now this type of the circuit it is used for low piston rod low piston rod speed in the forward stroke because the forces for which we are using this particular is the opposing forces or opposite forces the one force is in cutting force is in one direction and feed force is in the another direction or feed direction is in the direction reverse to that of this or vice versa so these are the opposing loads which are there and therefore there may be a damage to the what we can say the tool and therefore we have to use the or we have to use this particular circuit for the low piston speed now this is used for stable piston speed or actuator movement because it is it can be useful for both opposing load as well as the running away load finally it is used for the 
fine speed control correct like that is required for the grinding machine or milling machine or welding machine now here the fine speed control may not be the criteria it can be used for drilling machine or boring machine application so this is the basic difference between metering and meter out hydraulic circuit thank you very much for watching